Hey, Divination, thanks for stopping by our documentation to learn all about our full width map module. So there are going to be times when you want to add a map to your website that covers the full width of the page display. This is the perfect module for that use case. We'll show you how to use it and how to style it in this video. Check it out. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of Divi's full width maps module. Now this full width maps module makes it really easy to embed custom Google Maps anywhere in your page in a nice full width display. You can even add unlimited pins to the map and define your custom viewport starting location. The maps modules also come in normal width format, so be sure to check out that module as well. So as you can see here, I do have a full width maps module installed here on my contact page and it's a good place to have it to display my company's location maybe add a pin here to show exactly where uh, our company is in the world along with um, you know additional information that can pop up uh, like the address or anything or phone numbers or stuff like that if you click on the pin you can have uh, more information uh, you can also add more than one of these pins here if you have more than one location for example across the world you can add those in as well um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the the settings here and to do that we're actually going to delete this uh, module and we're going to start from scratch so you can see uh, how to set it up and optimize it for your site so I'm going to go ahead and delete this section here and I'm going to save it out and I'm going to refresh the page and I am going to be editing in the visual builder here so make sure the visual builder is deployed and then what I'm going to do is come down here to the bottom of my page I'm going to add a new section and since I'm adding a full width maps module I'm going to need a full width section to pull up those full width modules there then I'll find the full width map add it to my site you'll see the full width map settings box pop up and here I can start adding in my uh, content and then after that we're going to go through the design of it as well so under the content tab I have this little uh, plus icon here this is where I can add my individual pins to my map to specify a certain location for my company for example um, I'm gonna skip that step for now and we're gonna continue setting up the general settings here um, if I click on the map section you'll see that uh, I need an API key um, and so in order to get that API key you're actually going to enter it in the themes options page so if I go to my theme options I can go from my WordPress dashboard uh, find uh, under Divi here select theme options and then scroll down here you can see this Google API key section this uh, step is necessary for you to display any of those Google Maps on your site so we need that Google API key and there's a helpful reminder here that tells you that uh, you need it as well in order to get that you'll need to go to the uh, the developers console um, and it looks like this here when you go to your developers console in Google here and you can uh, create a new project uh, once you create your new project, uh, you can, you know, get your add an API key, and, and once you get that API key, uh, you can go back here and paste it in, and then click save. Now I'm going to save this out, and I'm going to refresh the page. All right and let's go back to our maps module settings under the map section here and now I have my Google Google API key added now I can start adding in my address uh, right now it's blank because we need to tell Google where our location is and I'm simply going to paste in a general location of San Francisco and I will click find here and there you go uh, we already have our San Francisco location aside from that let's go on to our design tab 
This is where you can add some more customizations to your maps module. For example, you have this uh, control section. Now, this is some kind of, um, you know, helpful options in order to interact with the map a little better. For example, you can choose to have this mouse wheel zoom if you have a mouse wheel on your mouse and you want to use that to actually zoom in on the map. Um, you can choose that uh, to be on. It is on by default, but if you don't like that idea, sometimes it gets a little bit of um, uh, distracting when you're scrolling down the page and then you get to the map and you keep scrolling with that mouse wheel and then instead of scrolling down the page you actually start zooming in and so uh, it could you know mess up your user experience there so you might want to disable that um, but since it's at the bottom of the page we don't have to worry about it uh, you can also uh, disable or enable this draggable uh, option on mobile meaning that uh, right here I can you know hold down my my uh, button on my mouse and I can drag the map around um, I can also do that on mobile uh, with my finger if I wanted to keep that functionality I will simply leave it alone but I could disable it here uh, you can use a grayscale filter let's say you don't like the default colors of the Google map here and you just want to you know make it all kind of gray you can do that and this is the grayscale filter amount in the percentage value you can choose what percentage you want it grayed out so let's say I wanted it 50% grayed you know I could do that or if I wanted it all gray I could do that as well all right the sizing I can uh, choose to um, adjust the width of the module here and it'll automatically adjust to the center of the map when I do that and then if I wanted to I can make it centered there by adjusting the module alignment but I like it full width so I'm gonna keep it like that I can add some spacing uh, margins to my module since it is a full width uh, module I, I don't want to mess with that but if I was using the regular uh, maps module uh, maybe I would want to add more margins and customizations to place it uh, just the right place on my page box shadow also doesn't really um, apply to this since we're not using a, since we are using a full width layout however you can add some slight um, depth to the top and bottom of the module with this setting uh, so if you wanted to add a box shadow you can see there's a little uh, depth there which uh, is a nice look You can also choose an animation style for your module as it pops up on the page when you scroll down to it. Uh, you can slide it in or fade it in, um, however you like. I'm going to disable that for now. All right, so in the advanced tabs, you uh, also have the ability to add your unique CSS IDs and classes to target this module with an external style sheet. You can also add your inline custom CSS uh, to the main element here or the before and after pseudo elements there. Um, and also change the visibility if you want. Maybe you don't want this on mobile. You can choose to disable it on your phones only. Um, you can do that for any of these devices. All right, so that takes care of our general settings and now let's go ahead and add our first pin uh, so under the content tab let's go ahead and add uh, our first pin and then it pops up this pin settings and let's go ahead and toggle open this text section here let's go ahead and add our first pin we'll call it company and then we'll you know just some mock content here called this company info it could be maybe an address or something you know phone number and then uh, down here a location for your map pin I'm going to use San Francisco California again and then I'll click find and then it'll uh, 
place a pin there. Of course, you would probably want to add a uh, more specific uh, address um, to whatever your company is. I'll go ahead and save that out. You can see that it is displayed nicely right there. Um, I could also add another pin if I wanted to, uh, and it's unlimited. I can add an unlimited amount. I'm going to go ahead and save this out. And I'm going to save my page here. And let's go ahead and open it up um, outside of the Visual Builder. And there it is. If I click on my tab here, you'll see that a uh, little info box pops up with the content, uh, the title that I added here, which could be my company or whatever it is I want, and any info that I want underneath there. And to exit out of that, click on the box. And of course, I can move it around and uh, use the uh, command button uh, plus the scroll to zoom in. One thing I do want to mention before I go is maybe you don't like the default uh, zoom in location that the, the map uh, has uh, right now. And maybe you want to change it to something different. So when the page loads, it actually maybe has a, a more expanded view. When you first view the, uh, the map, you can change that by going back to our maps module, going into the maps settings and when you click in the map section you'll see this uh, little embed here uh, you can use the embed to kind of customize the zoom location of the map and then that will uh, once you save it out uh, here you can see that the starting location of your map is now different so feel free to customize that however you need and it creates a nice look for your site. And there's your overview of the full width maps module.